Hey, what's happening guys? I've got something pretty cool today. This is from the subcontinent, straight from India. This is the Bolt IoT module. Pretty cool little device here, I think. We're going to learn about it together. And the Bolt IoT is based on what? Can we see in there? It's an ESP28266. I believe we've seen one of those around before, haven't we? So we got some stuff here. Some components in the package. And they've also sent us some extra goodies. Thank you, Bolt. And stick around until the end, because I'll have an exciting announcement for you. Okay, so the first step in setting up your Bolt IoT device is you're going to have to download the Bolt app. Okay, nut jobs. I know you're all afraid to hook your phone up to the internet for fear the Chinese are out to get you. Well, put your tinfoil hat on, pull it down over your ears. This is from India. And if it's still too just too much to handle, watch another video. Don't worry about the IoT stuff. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. Except you, Dennis. They know about you, and they're coming to Moose Knuckle to get you. Everybody else, you're pretty safe. Well, that took about a second to download. So that's pretty cool. Now we're going to have to register. Okay, so we're all nice and registered here, and we have no devices configured. So we're going to have to configure a device. And that's not too hard. Play along with me. Okay, so our first step it says is to add device. Then it says power on your device simply by plugging it in to a USB source. And we have a blinking blue light. Okay. That's correct. The blue light is blinking slowly. Your phone will now connect to the bolt. Okay. Here we go. Now it's blinking quickly. Blinking quickly. Switch off the mobile data. Okay. Back to Bolt. If I can find it, where did it go? Here we are. Continue. Now it wants to connect to my network. Okay. I put in my Wi-Fi credentials and you can now see it's telling us blue LED connected to network, green LED, the device is online. We also have a green dot here, so our Bolt device is now online. And that's pretty much it for the setup of this device. Very cool. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, we're looking at it under the uh, soldering microscope here. And you can see the ESP8266 module. There is an LED here that says we're connected to the cloud. We've got a resistor, a couple contacts, and a somewhat crookedly soldered capacitor. But let me tell you what, for those tiny little surface mount devices, uh, that's fine. Better than I can do. All right, we have pins labeled one, two, three, and four. And on the other side, we have five volt, 3.3 volt ground, zero, A0, TX, RX. Let's flip her over here. We got some sort of device here, which I'm trying to get a read on. It's obviously a voltage regulator. I think it's probably an AMS 1117, maybe. 
couple of capacitors, our connector. That's it. This is a uh, really simple device. Okay, now we've looked it over. Let's take a uh, a more critical eye to it. I find it odd that the label is on this side, but the chip is meant to be used, or the board is meant to be used this way. I understand why they did it. Also, they say it's breadboard friendly, and sent me a little breadboard and stuff, but. Unless you replace those headers, it's really not breadboard friendly. But, that being said, let's try and put together a little project. In the kit, they sent this LM35 temperature sensor, which I've hooked up to some DuPont cables. And we're going to connect it up here and see if we can't build ourselves a simple little temperature logger. Our pinout for this is VCC pin 1. Our voltage out, that's our temperature reading, is pin 2. And ground is pin 3. So yellow, our pin 1 is VCC. And it says to plug that into our 5 volt pin. Next up is orange, which is our out that needs to go to analog zero and finally we have our ground pin which goes to ground and realistically that should be it now we'll power this up It should automatically connect to my network since I gave it the information that it needed. There we go. And now we'll hop on over to the desktop and see if we can create ourselves a simple little app using the Bolt Cloud uh, development system. All right, we are looking at the Bolt Cloud development system here. And right here you can see our bolt device that we set up and you can see it's online but that it is not linked to any product so we need to create a product and we'll just click build and we'll call this product name LM35 this is an input device and it will connect through the GPIO. Now the product has not been set up yet so we need to set it up. We click the configure this product and it wants to know where we have it connected. So this doesn't really line up all that well but it says analog A0 which is where we plugged it in so we will click analog A0 and that's telling us where our data is coming in and then we can uh, select our data rate gives us a lot of nice choices here we'll leave it at five minutes for right now next up it says to import code example so we click that Please configure the hardware. Oh, it didn't tell me to do that. Okay, hopefully this does it. The LM35. Save your configuration hardware. Hmm. All right, well, let's save our configuration. Save changes to your product. Yes. Then we can go into the code, right? Okay that's better okay we'll try one more time import code example okay choose variable name LM35 okay what type of graph do we want 
we will use a line graph then import now we have to add one little line here and this allows us to change the raw data from the sensor into degrees centigrade and we should be able to hit save okay if we did everything right now we can close this and we need to link our product which is this LM temperature sensor here to our bolt device so we click link we link it to the bolt yes we want to link it bolt online view the device unlink share the device and finally we have to deploy the configuration and that should do it okay if everything went right if we click the monitor here it should give us our temperature graph no data has been collected yet so I guess we'll have to wait for five minutes or so okay we now have a data point in our graph and as you can see it's working out pretty well if we say show us one day hmm, so it says we only have one data count but okay it's a little odd if you ask me anywho so here's the big announcement bolt has decided to give another one of these to learn electronics channel to give away to one of you so it doesn't matter where you are in the world bolt will send it directly to you so if you're interested uh, put a message down below in the description that says bolt me in and on August the 20th we'll draw the winner how's that all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the bolt IOT device if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons and big thanks to the folks at bolt for sending this to us that's it I'm out peace